We've heard uh, from a, a member of the House of Representatives, Representative Goni Bukar from Yobe, who has claimed that, uh, you know, that he's aware of where the actual location of these girls and that he maintains that they are in Yobe State and that he knows where they are. Have you heard, uh, in terms of the presidency, in terms of the security apparatus of the country, has there been any kind of collaboration with some of these people that claim to know where these girls are to actually find out if they're there? Thank you. Uh, yes, there, there, are, there are collaborations locally and internationally as to where we could find them, where, you know, what the intelligence reports are saying. Yeah, we, we do, you know, the, the intelligence agencies and the security agencies are working with local sources, local uh, agencies, local uh, 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 agencies and uh, even individuals, you know, even internationally, you know, there are there have been rumors whether they're in this country or that country, neighboring country, and we are making sure that we are crossing all the, we are dotting all the all, all the highs and crossing all the T's. Certainly, yes. You know, it, there are questions as to if your government really believes that the way to go is state police, and why hasn't it sent a bill to the National Assembly to ensure that you know. That is also a part of the amendments, the constitutional amendments being, well, the, the, being looked at. Yeah, the, the National Assembly has been uh, uh, looking at the issue of, uh, you know, reviewing the constitution, and we have uh, made our position very clear. These things are work in progress, you know, uh, uh, and already we've, we've, we've started community policy. As a matter of fact, if you, if you remember very well, uh, the presidential order was issued, you know, uh, sometimes about, I think, August or September last year to say that it is important for us to start community policy, you know, uh, and that is being implemented as we speak. And uh, as we go along, you know, we, we believe that we get to the point where the, the constitutional amendment will be, will, be, will be done. Where is that being implemented? I, I'm, I'm not aware. Community policy? As if community policing was actually active, was alive and active in a community like Dapchi. There will be questions as to who could they have called? Why wasn't it put in motion? How could those girls have been taken over a span of three hours from what well, we understand well, 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 on Mark, flat plain land Mark, and Mark there was no response? Mark, I have explained to you that you know those questions will be unraveled you know that is why we have the panel and it is because of the urgency of those questions that we actually set up the panel you know so that we can know exactly what happened i, I can't possibly tell you you know those answers because i don't know and, and we don't know we, and we want to know it's important for us to know that's why we have done the panel you know uh, and we will we, we let nigerians know exactly what happened and we take care of it i think it is a lot of focus on the dapchi girls because these are girls that first and foremost it's happening it seems like it's happening exactly as it happened uh four years ago when the chibok girls were taken and two they're still the young people they're still alive and they can be retrieved uh but when we look at the others you know pockets of security situation that we've had so for instance in Adamawa, we saw it last time in newman the vice president visited newman but then again there's been another attack in them sir we're seeing in kaduna uh, some con kind of conflict bordering sometimes on religious matters and people are asking is government at all concerned about some of the softer issues that you know are the underline. could be the exactly on the line some of the you know, conflicts that we have seen, very violent conflicts we've seen in recent times. We're very concerned uh, about that, Mapu, I can assure you. And, and, and that is why, you know, when you see government respond, you see us respond in a number of ways. Uh, we're not just responding on one hand. We are, we are concerned about the issues. And that's why you, you will see, uh, especially you know, what the president and the vice president are doing, in trying to bring people together, trying to address, uh, you know, what are the underlying issues, what, what is the basis for the for the conflict, you know, is it economic, is it historical, uh, is it about lifestyle, and we are addressing this, we are bringing groups together, the vice president has been meeting, you know, uh, uh, you know, acting, you know, under the instruction from the president, meeting with all, all the groups, especially in the issues of the of the husband uh, and the farmers, meeting the communities, meeting their leaders, holding meetings in front of the press, behind the press, on a very regular basis to try and resolve this. Uh, this Mr. Issue. Okonde, before we let you go, I want to just quickly turn the page to the economy because so many things have have been going in, in re going on in recent times, and we've uh, the NBS, the National Bureau of Statistics, has released a report that uh, in, in 2017 we saw an inflow of about $12.2 billion into the nation's economy. I want to ask you, uh, what more do you believe needs to be done to ensure that the nation just doesn't climb out of recession but actually gets into expedited growth? Well, thank you. Uh, so uh, we, are, we are confident that uh, the 3.5 uh, uh, percent growth rate that we estimate for the economy this year will be attained, you know, judging from the increase in the uh, in the in the growth rate in the last uh, three quarters, 
Uh, and so we are, we are delighted about that. It shows that you know the, the, the economy is in the right direction, uh, and and we will continue to diligently implement the economic recovery and growth plan very diligently. You know we'll be starting the focus labs. You know I believe in a matter of weeks. Uh, where we will begin to address specific concerns working with the public sector, working with experts on what sh should be done and how it will be done and when it will be done. We will ensure that this economy continues to recover and grow uh, very fast. You know, this is something that is very important to this administration and we keep, uh, we keep our hands on deck. And it will seem again, you know, much as yes, it, the growth has is, is been consistent now for quite a number of quarters, yes. and, but it's still fragile. Um, you know, there are questions as to whether or not they can sustain it and whether or not Nigerians are really benefiting from this growth. Because only yesterday, the IMF came up with a report saying that despite all that we're seeing, Nigerians are actually poorer, uh, if, even in spite of the growth. How does the government react to that? Well, the truth of the matter is that it, it, it's, it's not... Uh, uh, when, when an international agency gives an opinion, at times when you compare it with what's on the ground, you can, you can begin to make the judgments yourself. Uh, the fact of the matter is that the, 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 the economy is growing. Yes, it's very slow. It's, very, it's, it's sometimes fragile. Uh, but the truth of the matter is that some of the things that we are doing is going to take time. And Nigerians can always have the confidence that the, 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 the motive and the purpose of the president is to ensure that life gets better for them. You know, whatever we are doing is to bring a day when the, there will be a real impact. But even before we get there, Nigerians know that this government is very uh, is, is very transparent you know we are, we are financially prudent we are spending more even though we are earning less uh, it's the first time in the history of this country I believe that we have 1.3 almost 1.3 trillion capital spend at a time when the oil prices are down at a time when we don't have a lot of resources Yet we are spending more on capital. Now we, we, we're doing 70% mm. uh, recurrent and 30%. Some people will ask Even whether, they, they, whether they, that they, is actually getting into, I mean, the amount of money that you're spending is actually getting into the hands of the ordinary Nigerians. Because there will be questions as to, you know, how come you're spending so much? Yet, according to this report, Nigerians are getting poorer. But well, let's go to Lagos now. Uh, Trimbling and, uh, you know, beg your pardon, Gimba have a guest in Lagos.